Welcome back again. This is YEC 2019 maths question. Questions. Want to see the questions 31 to 40 of the objective. Now, the question on geometry. Okay, we said in the diagram POS and ROT, the line POS and ROT are straight lines. OPQR, OPQR is a parallelogram. OS and OT are equal, showing that this triangle OST is an ISS triangle, and then angle OST is 50 degrees. That tells us that the base angles will be equal, and that is 50 degrees on the left, to the right, on the right, since they're facing the equal sides OS and OT. So the third angle in this triangle is simply summing up two interior angles and then get the third. So 180 minus 100. So the angle SOT is uh, 80 degrees. Okay. On a straight line, angle ROS and angle SOT. Angle ROS, angle SOT is 180 degrees angles on a straight line all right so if SOT is 80 definitely our angle ROS will be 180 minus 80 that's 100 all right and the faster way to get this 100 is just to say sum of two interior angles in a triangle will get the exterior all right then looking at this shape all right here the line RO is parallel to line QP, all right? And then the line here, the line joining our P down to S, passing through O down to S is That line is the transversal so definitely we're going to have what we call corresponding angles so 100 degrees here as your line as your angle SOR or ROS whichever one you call it all right then the same thing if you label it forward or backwards SOR and ROS are the same so angle 100 degrees equals to QPO all right QPO or OPQ as required so that's option A. All right. The next question is about uh, algebraic expression factorizing. And looking at the first term here, here, the first term here, 2x plus 2y and then x minus y plus 2x minus 2y into x plus y. 2 is the HCF, so we have 2 outside, remaining x plus y as the quotient with x minus y. Also, for the second term here, 2 is also common, remaining x minus y as the quotient, then x plus y originally there before. We can rearrange this twice of this quantity here. If we rearrange this one, bring in x plus y first before x minus y. And the reason why we can swap, bring in this here and bring in this one here, is because the competitive law of multiplication, a times b equals to b times a, you can switch. So now, two of this quantity and then two of the same quantity it's like saying two b plus two b that's four b so the same thing here two eyes of this quantity and then twice of this same quantity will give us four of that uh, you know quantity or expression so we have four into x plus y x minus y all right and then this answer also can be you know we can rewrite it and switch it so correct option is option a so we can see clearly all right number 33 this is a question on polygons and the formula for some of interior angles will be applied said the interior angles of a polygon are 3x 2x 4x 3x and 6x find the size of the smallest angle of the polygon definitely this is the smallest angle but let's try to find so what's the sum of interior angles n polygon this is the formula that's sn equals to n minus 2 into 180 all right 
and we have five sides here one two three four five so our polygon is five sided polygon that is pentagon five minus two 180 so three times 180 so the sum of the five interior angles is 540 so definitely let's just do the sum now 3x plus 2x plus 4x 3x plus 6x all equals to 540 when we sum all these 3x plus 2x 5x 5x plus 4x 9x plus 3x 12x 12x plus 6x 18x equals to 540 degrees so x is 540 when you divide both sides by 18 let's just do that divide both sides by 18 18 cancel 18 here 18 and 54 is 30 but we don't have any angle x the least we have is 2x so the smallest angle 2x is actually 2 times 30 degrees as x and that's 60 degrees so the smallest angle in this pentagon is 60 degrees next question the question of probability is that a box contains two white balls and three blue identical balls okay if two balls are picked at random from the box one after the other which replacement means that when we pick any of these two white or three blue balls the total will not be affected at the first pick or the first selection and the second selection we're still going to have five intact because we're going to replace so said what is the probability that they are of different colors so probability that my first pick is blue and the second one is white or probability of the first one to be white and the second one to be blue in as much as they are different colors so we have two possibilities either this or this so all is actually used you know change to addition so now for probability of blue or white we for picking blue as your first choice that will be any of the three out of five because the formula probability is number of required over total possibility over total number of outcome required outcome over total outcome all right and the second selection to be white definitely we're going to pick any two out of the five since we are replacing so this five will not change it will not become four all right it will not change to four so plus if we have probability of having white first if you are picking white for dinner we're picking two out of the five and your second choice to be blue it means three out of the five as well when we multiply this we have three times two six five times five twenty five the same thing goes with this two times three six five times five twenty five and when we add up our answer is twelve over twenty five option d thirty four number thirty five is a question on coordinate geometry so we're given the gradient here as M, so we have a line passing through this point. This is the point here, is the point given to us 0.1 comma minus 5. Sorry, okay. So it find the equation of a straight line passing through the point 1 comma minus 5, and the gradient of this line is 3 over 4 positive gradient, it's a rising slope or gradient. Now, the formula connecting a line passing through a point. With the gradient given is this so uh, these are point x1 comma y1 so let's substitute all the ingredients we have m is 3 over 4 y minus y1 is minus 5 x minus the x1 is 1 from here just like we did for y1 which was minus 5 we substituted here all right so 3 over 4 minus times minus we have y plus 5 x minus 1 all right so when we cross multiply at this point we're going to have 3 into x minus 1 and then 4 into y plus 5 expanding the left we're going to have 3x minus 3 expanding the right we have 4y plus 20 all right collecting like terms if we look at it look at all the options there's no one with negative 3x let's try to bring all the right hand side to the left so we have 3x minus 4y then minus 3 minus 20 equals to 0 okay so the answer is 3x minus 4y minus 3 times minus 20 is minus 23 equals to 0 and the correct option here will be option d okay 
number 36 so at the foot of a ladder so assuming this is a ladder so at the foot of this ladder from the base of an electric pole so let's assume this is our pole electric pole the top of the ladder is the same as the top of the pole assuming then the bottom of the pole electric pole so it said the foot of a ladder is six meters from the base of the electric pole this is our pole and this is our ladder so this distance between the foot of the ladder and the base of the pole is six meters sorry so the top of the ladder rests against the pole at a point eight meters okay so as the pole is no longer just this point marked with this red down here is eight meters all right above the ground level so how long ground level how long is the ladder so we have to find this already this is 90 degrees the angle between the pole and the uh, horizontal ground here so the length of the ladder is actually the hypotenuse so to say so we're going to apply the Pythagoras rule definitely so we have 8 squared 6 squared plus 8 squared and that's 36 plus 64 and that's 100 8 squared equals to 100 we'll take the square root of both sides square cancel square root h equals to 10 meters all right so the answer is c all right next question it's about uh, trigonometry it's a question on trigonometry and also applying the popular acronym so uh, that's what all right now drawing a diagram here because the tangent of angle x is given as 3 over 4 so that means opposite over adjacent so we we'll draw a triangle for that all right the 90 degrees here angle x here opposite to it is 3 adjacent is 4 the hypotenuse is not given which is opposite to the 90 degrees so how do you get the hypotenuse using the Pythagoras rule that's 3 squared plus 4 squared all right so we have 9 plus 16 so each squared equals to 25 when we find the square root of both sides each will be 5 the hypotenuse is 5 all right so what to evaluate cos x plus cos x is actually from this acronym is adjacent over hypotenuse and the adjacent in this question i mean this diagram here this is the opposite the adjacent is 4 the hypotenuse is 5 okay the sine of x is uh, opposite over hypotenuse by this uh, popular acronym as well so opposite is 3 and the hypotenuse is 5 so we're going to find cos 2 x I mean cos x over 2 sine x which means our cos x which is 4 over 5 divided by twice of sine x which is 3 over 5 all right that's 4 over 5 divided by 2 times 3 is 6 over 5 so 4 over 5 times when we change the times there is a swap in the numerator and denominator so 5 cancel out 5 4 over 6 2 in 4 is 2 2 in 6 is 3 so the answer is 2 over 3 option d okay the next question 38 said is about the question on angle of uh, depression this is a question on measuration say all right said from the top of a vertical cliff so a cliff the top the cliff is 20 meters high a boat at sea can be sighted 75 meters away so let's say there's a boat here all right the boat B okay and this 90 degrees between the sea level it comes at this 75 meters away so this is 75 meters away the top of the cliff and the boat all right said so, so let's start again from the top of the of a vertical cliff 20 meters high a boat 
at C it can be cited 75 meters away and on the same horizontal position as the foot of the cliff. So this is the foot of the cliff. Calculate correct to nearest degrees, the angle of depression of the boat from the top of the cliff. So if we have an observer at this point, actually looking with horizontal line of sight, but the angle of depression looking downward here, this angle here is the same as this angle here. We we'll call them alternate angles because the horizontal line of sight and the line joining the foot of the cliff and the boat they're parallel and the line tb is the transversal okay so we we'll define the angle this angle theta or you call it here theta they're both the same and looking at the labeling here if you have to follow opposite to theta is 20 opposite to theta is 20 and facing the 90 degrees is our hypotenuse. So which ratio is having opposite and hypotenuse from Asoka to it is sine. So sine of the angle theta we're looking for opposite is 20. 20 meters over 75 meters. All right. And when we try to divide this with our calculator, we have 20 divided by 75 is equal to this it's 0 0.26667 but let me write my answer to the nearest four decimal places so running up to four decimal places we're going to have this and then finding the arc sign of both sides or the taking the reciprocal of sign of both sides we're going to have this all right and then checking this on your calculator or with your four figure table, we're going to have that the answer will be 15 degrees. All right, and that's option D. Option D, 15 degrees. Okay. The next question, number 39, is a question on circle geometry. It said, the diagram O is the center of the circle of radius 18 centimeters. So the distance O to Z on the circumference is 18 centimeters. Likewise, O to Y on the circumference is under 18 centimeters. It said, if angle Z, X, Y, which is this, is 70, calculate the length of the arc Z, Y. Now, the angle at the center subtended by arc ZY at center O and subtended by this same arc ZY at the circumference, at the point, I mean, a point X on the circumference. There's a relationship between two, and that's that angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference. All right? So angle at the center ZOY is two times the angle ZXY, which is 70, and that's 140 degrees. So this is 140 degrees. So we said calculate the length of the arc ZY. So we have to find the length ZY. And what's the formula finding length? We've done that several, okay? 3, 360 times 2 pi r. Length of an arc means the fraction of the entire length of the circle, or you call the circumference of the circle. Because this is just the angle formed out of the whole angle. This small portion is our theta out of 360. Okay, so let's go. Theta has been known as 140, 360, 2 pi is 20 over 7, and the radius is 18. All right, so let's simplify. 7 here is 1, 7 here is 20, 0 cancel, 10 cancel, 10 here, and then 2 in 36 is 18, 18 cancel out 18. So the length is 2 times 22, and that's 44 centimeters. That's the length of the arc ZY. Okay, option C. And then for question 40, this is another question as well on circle geometry. So in diagram, RT is tangent to the circle. So at this point, tangent to the circle at R. PQR is 70, our angle PQR, the whole of this, 
is 70 degrees QRT is 52 and our QRT is located here we we'll call this angle angle between a chord it is QR and tangent RT the angle formed this way is always equal to angle in the alternate segment since this angle QRT which is 52 is formed between the minor segment and the outward part of the circle with the tangent then the alternate segment is the major segment and these are the two angles that will be equal to it the two angles facing called RQ or we call it angle subsided by arc RQ angle in the same segment so this is 52 and then 52 remind you they said QSR is Y and where's our QSR QSR is Y and automatically that's our answer for number 40 52 degrees all right stopping here for now thank you